What's good, my halibut mains? Today we are going to be trying out the Culver's Beaked Whale. Uh, if you don't know what the Culver's Beaked Whale is, well, you're in for a ride. Uh, people have been loving this whale for years and years now, and I figured now is the time that I try it out for you guys, and you guys get to see how I play it, how we do it, okay? So that's going to be the whole idea with uh, this edition of Beta Daily. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this whole video, guys, and if you don't know already, Please do hit the like, subscribe if you have not yet. Plenty of people up in here are not subscribed. So be sure to subscribe right away to help out the channel. Uh, that would help a lot. It would mean a lot. And be sure to check out my Twitch exclamation points. Actually, there is no exclamation point here. What am I talking about? I'm thinking of Twitch right now. Uh, you just do... Uh, you just put in Twitch, just put in iWormFly. You'll find me in there. Just follow. And I stream every day. Beta every single day from 6 to 9 p.m. PST, so be sure to check that out. Anyhow, let's get on with this video. So we're going to become a sea lion. We're going to go down the narwhal path. And just like that, you see the, <laughs> the beaked whale right there. It has 900 health, 140 damage, and 100 speed. Passive speed. So remember that. So as you can see, we are now on the move with our Culver's beaked whale. It can do the usual abilities, it can lunge, it can, you know, also lunge in the air, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, but there's also some other abilities that come with this ammo that make it very, very uh, <laughs> hard to fight. Uh, so I'll show you. So you see Bon Voyage friend, he tried to hit me, but I'll show you with this Beluga, I'm going to hit him with that bubble. You see how that bubble bounced off and hit him? That's exactly what I'm doing with this, so I'm making sure I can uh, get a few bubbles on this guy. And then once there's a ton of bubbles on him, I am going to go ahead and start exploding them. Uh, and that will cause him to suffer some real damage. So I'm going to go ahead and start exploding a few now. And then just like that, he is almost dead and he's probably going to get away because I just can't seem to finish off my kills. Oh no. Well, you see, I did try. I did try, so there is that. Beluga is bad. Yeah, I know, right? It really is. They gotta really buff that, though. I mean, Beluga just needs that buff. It's, like, really in need, you can tell. Ooh, man, he's pushing me away. So, yeah, we're just kind of 1v1-ing this guy. Uh, I am playing into his hands pretty much, so I gotta just be careful. He's trying to ice wall me. It's not really working out. I tried to throw a bubble at him, but I think his ice wall stopped it. So, as you can see, the Culver's Beaked Whale is pretty potent. I'm going to go ahead and just move away for a second so I can recover a little bit. Get some bubbles back. Hit a few of those. Alright, I'm going to kind of keep near him though. I'm not going to get off his tail, as he might hope. So, as you can see, he is covered right now in a ton of these and I'm gonna finish him off and just like that the poor pet is crying alright so it's very overpowered you gotta be careful when you're fighting against the Culver's Beaked Whale um, I know it took me a while to kill him there but we eventually did it and we didn't we took hardly any damage from that we were basically face sinking it towards the end there and I like took three hits and was good and I killed him <laughs> so it's very unfortunate if you end up in that kind of situation. So, you know, maybe I'm not the best at using Culver's Big Dwell right now, but trust me, if I had more practice, which I will practice on stream, I will do a lot better. <laughs> okay, so let's know another thing. This Culver's Big Dwell can live in the ocean and in the deep. Take a look. So we're going to go ahead, get down here into the deep. Uh, now you might be wondering, what does this mean? Well, it can go in every single biome except for Swamp. That is the only biome it cannot go into. Oh, and there you have it. I died. Um, it was bound to happen. But, uh, there you go. You can see the capabilities of the uh, Culver Beat Whale right there. Um, you know, again, it was a pretty <laughs> interesting animal. Uh, it has its abilities. Um, 
I don't think I just played it correctly there. If I had landed all my shots, all my bubbles, I think I would have been able to face tank that, but I did not. So that's the only drawback with using Culver's Beaked Whale in that way. All right. So now that we've tried the Culver's Beaked Whale, let's go ahead and try out a few other animals, a few other creatures that are available to us. We will go ahead and try out the Mega Mouth. So we're going to go down the Mega Mouth path, which is going from Dragonfish. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go down this path, actually. Uh, let me go ahead and get some XP, get a little bit more. All right. So we're going to go ahead and go Dragonfish right now. And then uh, we'll grab some Volcano stuff, some Volcano bits, parts, pieces. So go and get all this. Oh, okay, Venom. So... Have to get away from this. Oh, man, that was close. So you become frilled. Once you become a frilled, you just go ahead and grab all that uh, meat. And then you become a uh, Mega Mouth. It is the third option. Uh, frilled is already a great animal to play. But there are other animals, such as Mega Mouth, that we have to try out. So here we are playing Mega Mouth and dying immediately, which isn't great. Um... I think I just didn't play <laughs> Mega Mouth properly there. I was just doing the face tank, thinking I could win. So yeah, it looks like CS can face tank a Mega Mouth. I didn't, I didn't know that, but that is good to know. Um, so <laughs> now that we have that in our conscience, we will not make the same mistake again. Let's go ahead and properly play some Mega Mouth. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and become Mega Mouth real quickly again. Uh, luckily, it's pretty easy since we have a bunch of. Uh, you know, Humboldt's that we can attack and take all their meats. So that'd be the way to go about that. So let's go ahead and grab around, get all these. And we will be ready in a moment. Let's go ahead and kill another Humboldt. Oh, he just spawned right here. Perfect. Um, let's go and become frilled. Kill another Humboldt. It's probably going to be over here though. So let's find him really quickly. Out of my way, Halibut. I'm not fighting you. Get out of my way, Shock. I don't need any of your shoes. Alright. Now then. Uh, let's see. We're about ready. Just 4.7k more. And then uh, we good. We still have to be careful with that Halibut, though. That Halibut is deadly if we're not careful around it. So... We'll go ahead and get a few more bits of score here, and then uh, we'll become Mega Mouth. Hopefully, I will know not to die in that same way next time here. All right. So now we can become a Mega Mouth again. I'm going to go ahead and face take a little bit, and then run. Dude, I, I couldn't run again. Oh, my God. That was unfortunate. We'll try again. So, yeah, I don't know, guys. <laughs> Algerty was fine him there, or I think I got third party, kind of. I gotta be real careful with that. So I'm just trying to show you what Mega Mouth's about. But essentially it's beam is not, uh, it's not like you can move around a ton. You can, like, like if you look around, it'll be a very slow maneuvering around, okay? So that's kind of the issue with that. Um, if I had to bring any up, that would be the primary one. Let me go ahead and kill this. That'll be a really quick evolve right there. There we go. Okay. So let me show you. So if you move around like this, you can see the beam slowly moves you around. You get plus 25% speed. And then from there, uh, you can also do a regular lunge. I forgot to bring that up. You can do a regular lunge with it. Um, we're going to try it out on some creatures because I have to show you for this example. But basically, you have a light beam. And it can do damage based on your proximity from it, from the animal. So if you are like really close to it so let's see if we can find one if you are really close to one of these guys oh my god <laughs> he keeps running into me then you can do some damage to it you could do some really good damage to it so you can do 40 damage up close 30 damage at like mid-range so see i did 30 damage there at mid-range and then 20 damage at like long range so like if i was over here 20 damage so that's kind of the deal with mega mouth um, it's not that much damage, but the best part about it is when they have that white bar like that, that is when you can do more damage to them. So you can hurt them a lot more if they have a white bar like that going on for them. So you can see Dr. Puss is trying to get food here. I am preventing that. As of right now, you can see he's trying to fight me with this. 
Uh oh. He's gonna get away. If I'm not careful. Uh oh. He's doing some hit and run tactics. And I am just gonna run, I guess, too. But as you can see, it does do more damage when they get flashbanged, like so. So, uh, if you're wondering what the receiving end of this is like, uh, it's just a really quick white light. It's not, like, terrible, okay? It's not like Octopus. It blinds you for, like, a good solid three minutes. <laughs> you know, it doesn't do anything like that. It's not that bad. But uh, it's, it's an interesting little creature, I'll tell you that. So, as you can see, I'm chasing Venom here. Just a few hits, you know how it is. You know how it's gotta be. Oh, I think... Oh, I thought he died, but no, he teleported. Lucky him. The base damage, that... Oh my, I missed him. I missed him just barely. But uh, the base damage is pretty nice on this, actually. It's pretty nice on this animal. So you can do some really decent damage with it. So I did like 187 right there, I think. So yeah, again, not bad, not bad. It can definitely get some good hits in. So, I mean, that's pretty much it for this Mega Mouth. I may as well just try and die. Or I can kill him. Maybe, potentially. Yay, we did it. Okay, anyway. Um, that's the example for Mega Mouth and Clover's Beaked Whale. If you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to like. I know I did not do too well on some of the 1v1s, but trust me, I'm trying my best. And I'm learning the matchups, especially with that CS matchup it's not the best for uh mega mouse so we'll remember that anyways thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all for the next bit daily tomorrow Bye bye